It may be a situation where you haven't really been putting yourself around the right kind of people. If you've been single for six years now and you're not really sure what to do, try to, to try to look back on what you've been doing the last six years. There's a good chance that you will discover in that what the problem is. Clearly, you don't want to be single. Clearly, you want to be in a relationship. So just, just take a moment or take some time and look back on the last six years and what you've been doing with your life. There's a good chance that if you look back on it, you will notice that there are probably moments that there were opportunities for you to probably interact with someone, get to know someone, and see if romance can ensue that perhaps you didn't take, or perhaps you did take it and you just didn't allow things to follow through properly. Maybe you became a little bit impatient or you became a little bit judgmental about how things were going. So you, you took your, your foot off the gas and just kind of let it go. So just reflect on the last six years because that's often times where you will be able to start changing things. Be because if you don't reflect on the last six years on what you've been doing, then all you're going to keep doing is repeating the same mistakes. So let's say, for example, that you reflect, re reflect on the last six years and you discover that you haven't really been, perhaps you've been really focused on school or work and you haven't really been putting yourself in situations where you can meet people. Perhaps you just stayed relatively safe being within your normal friend circle, your normal social circle, and it hasn't really expanded in the last six years. Well, there is an area that could be a problem and is more than likely a problem. If in the last six years you basically stuck within your same social network, your same social circle, and it hasn't really expanded much, then you're basically restricting yourself to the people within your friend circle. And so that's that's a limited pool of people. There are only going to be so many people there who are either available to date or that you actually want to date. So one of the first things you can do if you reflect back on your life the last six years and discover that you've kept your social circle quite limited is expand it. Expand that social circle. And that doesn't mean that you have to become best friends with everybody now or have close-knit relationships with, with new people per se. It just means that you're you're developing more relationships. Those relationships don't have to necessarily be incredibly close, but you at least know these people and they know you and the both of you and, and you all get to interact relatively frequently. So that's an area that can really help you when it comes to the possibility of meeting someone that could become a romantic prospect for you is just expanding your network, expanding your social circle. So that's one area that you can look to. Because again, the more people that are around you, that, that, that come to know you, the higher the likelihood that someone in that circle could be, could be single or someone in that circle could know someone who's single. And, and off and away you go, yeah, and, you're, and you're no longer single anymore. If you meet this person and the both of you are able to connect, that's one thing. If, now, if you reflect back on the last six years and you discover that perhaps there was somebody, there's somebody in your past who you haven't quite let go of, or perhaps you've, you've interacted with this person for a while and you just, you've always hoped that this person likes you. You've always felt like this is a person that you want to be with, but for some reason, the both of you have not been able to connect on a romantic level, or you've just been hoping that it will happen. So perhaps you've been waiting on this person, waiting on this person. It, perhaps it's someone that you're friends with, someone who's in a, in a friendship circle with you. You really need to make a move on this person and so that you can discover if there truly is something there romantically, because if there isn't, you can't continue wasting your time, hoping that this friendship you have with this person will turn around and become romantic. This is often the trap people fall into when they become friends with other people that they actually are romantically inter interested in, that they're actually physically attracted to. 
is they, they, they now hope that somehow during the process of your friendship, romance will ensue, but that is most certainly not guaranteed. So if you spend the last six years or the last several years waiting on someone within your friend circle to make that move on you, to, to, to or at least make you feel like it's okay to make a romantic move on them, this is the time to do it. Because you need to find out once and for all what is going on here. That way, if there's nothing here, if there's no romance here, no harm done, the both of you can continue being friends and now you're able to let go of that mental block that's been holding you back for the last several years and open yourself up to new people. Because what you, what you may not realize is even though you've not necessarily been, even though you've not been in a relationship with this other person that you're friends with but you like, when you're out and about, there is a block that you will have. There is a mental and emotional block. There is a there is a there's an aura that you give off that lets people know or gives people the sense that okay this guy there's something going on with him he's not quite here so you may have been in situations in, in the last six years where there may have been other people around you who were interested but they can sense or they even know that your heart or your thoughts tend to belong to this other person or even if they don't know you if they're just some stranger but they were interested they can still sense that there's a part of you that's not quite there, that you're not all quite there, that alone could make them go, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to interfere with this person. Something seems to be going on with them. So the point here is, the sooner you get over this hump with this person that you may like within your friend circle, and figure out or find out for sure whether there's any romantic opportunity there or interest there between, well, coming from them because you're clearly romantically attracted to them or interested in them. The sooner you will know and the sooner you can move forward. So that's important. So if in the last six years you found yourself in a situation like this, then that's something you have to strongly consider. So at the end of the day, it's all about reflecting the last six years and what you've been doing. Because if you truly are honest with yourself and you're able to reflect, it will really give you an opportunity to, to make necessary changes. Something else you can consider if you reflect back on the last six years and you discover that perhaps you have been, perhaps you've, you've been in a situation where you don't really, you, you like being around what's comfortable. Now, this is not just a scenario where you're maintaining the same friendship circle and you're not really expanding it. This is more so even just with activities where you tend to engage in activities that you're most comfortable in and you never try to do something different. Think back, think back in the last six years, the last several years, whenever you actually engage in an activity, whether it's whether it's academic in nature or whether it's uh, physical in nature or whether it's social in nature, what do you typically do? There's a good chance that you typically do the same things over and over again. You engage in the same activities well, here's an opportunity now. If you do this reflection and you realize, yeah, you know, I tend to go to the same places all the time. I tend to engage in the same kind of activities. Okay, well, here's an opportunity now for you to go, well, what else am I interested in? What else am I curious about in life? What kind of activity would I love to engage in that I haven't engaged in yet? And you could even sit down and write a list of it, write a list of different types of activities or endeavors that you'd like to uh, undertake that you haven't. And now's your opportunity to undertake it, to actually go for it. Because once you start expanding as far as the activities you engage in, what you do, that again exposes you to different types of people, to new people. And in the process of that new adventure that you're engaging in you could meet someone that you can truly you truly connect with and connects with you so you have to reflect back on these last six years and ask yourself well do i keep doing the same things all the time do i keep engaging in the same activities have i been planning have i wanted have i wanted to travel somewhere for the last six years and i've been putting it off have i wanted to engage in some something some project and i've been putting it off well now is your chance because by so doing, you will expose yourself and give yourself a higher likelihood of meeting someone that connects with you on that level.